Hello people, we are back for another episode of Outlast, and yes, this is the part we got to last time, we've left off at the same part for once, and I can't imagine it's going to be too great. Um, I just, uh, just want to say quickly, the reason I haven't uploaded for the past two days is nothing to do with my lack of motivation or anything like that. It is because I have genuinely been busy. On Friday, I went to the Kerrang tour to see Limp Biscuit, um, Necro Goblicon, and Crossfaith, which was amazing. Uh, if any of you guys have seen them or heard any of their stuff, it's really good. I had a really good time. And the reason I didn't upload yesterday was because I was working until very late and I live in a block of flats so I can't really make too much noise um, late at night so that is the reason why I wasn't able to upload then so yeah anyway on with the story you we need the key to unlock the elevator I'm not sure why the hell Father Martin is locked up like that uh, not locked up he is strung up on that yeah, this, <laughs> this story started to get a little bit weirder now. Um, okay, so he's going to die now, apparently. He, I, is he actually nailed up to that cross, or is he just... Okay, so the elevator... The elevator will apparently be taking us to... What? Father Martin! <laughs> he was like a brother to me. <laughs> okay, the elevator will take me to the main exit. And now, let me guess, these guys aren't going to let me out. What? These guys wanted to kill me before. They wanted to, like, rip out my tongue and stuff. Why are they now letting me go freely? I'm so confused. Is Father Martin putting a good word? Nope, I cannot get through any of these doors. Right, so I need to go up to the elevator. I can't go this way. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to have to go this way, yes. I'm confused as to why we haven't run into the wall rider yet. But I'm sure we will very soon. And because I, I don't know the like main storyline behind the wall rider. But I'm sure that we are going to find out soon. I just want to say thank you to everyone who left a comment. Oh crap. I just want to say thank you to everybody who left a comment <laughs> telling me if I was close to the end or not. It was very helpful because now I know that I can sort of start on new gameplays soon and it will be um, very good. I'm not sure what Piggy's doing. Oh crap! Oh god. Go, go, go. Right. I don't even know where Piggy came from. Did he come from this way? Yes. Please? No? Oh crap. Crap, crap, crap. I don't want to go this way. Do I? Or don't I? Um. Yes. No! Oh, okay. I'm in. Oh dear. I can't see where I'm going. The light is so dark. Oh no. Oh fuck! Why is Piggy so fast still? I don't understand. Jump! Damn it! Damn it! Ugh. Stupid piggy. Well, we'll try that again. Hopefully, we can actually get out this time. Hello. See you. I'm not in here. He's gonna know. I feel like I can hear him. I can hear him breathing outside. It's making me nervous. Oh, okay. I can hear his chains. Oh shit. Uh, okay, well at least I know where to go this time, so that's good. Right, hurry. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Please, 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 please. Jump! Oh my god. Right, okay, good. Right there. Now where do we go though? I need to get up to the elevator. Oh, is this the elevator? Sweet. Okay, that's good then. Oh, thank God. Okay. I don't like the piggy. He's very... Uh, <laughs> he's too fast for like how big he is. It's 
don't die. Especially here, he just rattling chains on his boots. They are cool. Uh, oh fuck! Oh my god, that was my shadow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, well, that's embarrassing. I thought it was the wall rider behind me. That scared the crap out of me. Who's scared of their own shadow? Seriously. Oh dear. Um. I thought I was going to the main exit. I seem to be going very, very far down. Okay, find another way out, of course. Whoa. What the? What is this? Am I in, like, some sort of... Ah, I see. This is where we saw that video clip earlier on in the series of... The wall rider just sort of like torturing everyone. Um, from the personal records of Dr. Wer I'm going to have to say Vernick, I think. Uh, Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley. Published anonymously in 1818, chapter 23. Excerpt. Excerpt. Um, man, I cried. How ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease. You know what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Okay. Did, I, did that say meditate? I don't feel like it did. I feel like it said mediate. Oh my god. This is one creepy place. I'm guessing we're going to find out in a second what is actually going on with this place and what it is. But. I am not sure when that's going to happen, but. Morphogenic engine chambers. Okay. Right then. Yeah, this story is getting very interesting now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, what does that say? Coffee. How original. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be jump scared the shit out of in a minute. Um... But yeah, anyway, if you're interested in the uh, Limp Biscuit concert or anything I was talking about earlier, just leave a comment below asking and I will reply um, as soon as I possibly can. Um, so yes, uh, it was a brilliant, brilliant concert. So I would definitely uh, recommend anyone to go and see Limp Biscuit if they can in their lifetime. The mosh pits were quite intense, but... <laughs> Luckily, we didn't get too deep into the mosh pits, so it was good. It's just... There are a lot of ruffians. Ruffians or hooligans, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Um, I'm a bit frazzled today. Uh, morphogenic engine. Okay. I'm guessing I needed to record that then. Alright, I've got a note. Um, this is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics and now the algorithm reprogram us turn us into nightmare factories a few numbers on a dry erase board give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with dr wernick's corpse i feel like i owe him a debt okay then <laughs> i'm not really sure what is going on at the moment i'm not sure if i can get out anywhere if i meant to get out of there or something no Okay. Oh, Jesus. Everything's scaring me today. <laughs> Stupid things are scaring me. Is this the way I came? I feel like it is. Wait. This is so disgusting. Exit. Okay, well, I can't get out that way, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to go this way. Into the darkness, of course. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, crap. Whoa, I can only see him when it's... Oh, no. Hello. Oh, okay, I'm meant to run. Shit. Um. 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 What? <laughs> what is going on? Hello? He's still behind me, I can tell, because of the shivers going up my back right now. Please say I can open this. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God, no! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, I'm guessing... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! He saved me! Well, this is intense! Okay, explode, I'm guessing. Oh my goodness. 
What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, well, I got another note. Uh, necrotizing fasciitis. That's a flesh-eating bacteria, if anyone watches Scrubs here. Um, this is the way you die, ripped into pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm guessing we can't go back the way that we were just trying to go. But, um, anyway, guys, I have run out of time, and I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please click the like button, or leave a comment just saying anything about how you felt in the episode, or just your comments in general. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, guys, this has been Crowbar, and I will see you next episode. Bye!